Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. How are you all doing? I got a lot of questions from the video I posted last week about leaving academia. A lot of them are really good questions. I am going to reply them. I'll start to do this every Tuesday. Uh, maybe titled Tuesday with John. Doesn't make any sense, doesn't rhyme, but I kind of like it. Let's start with our first question from sort of 3337. Hi, I also left academia to go to work as a consultant. Good for you. Consultant sounds like a fancy job. Are you working at McKinsey? And my reason were I was always almost broke while working in academia. That is very common for research jobs. Sometimes it's related to the budget. In the US, you even need to pay tuition to be a PhD that can contribute to the financial difficulties and didn't feel like your research was worth being poor your whole life. If that's your feeling, then definitely do the career change. We have a lot of these narratives in doing scientific research that uh, people need to be very selfless like Marie Curie, who didn't patent her uranium technology, so she didn't make uh, much money. I understand the nobility, but if you are not financially secured, you'll be missing a tooth like I did. After I lost a tooth and had two root canals, I totally gave up the idea of not working for money. I'm expecting at some point I need to have two dental implants that will be over 7,000 euros. There's no shame to switch your career so you can have better health insurance and better lifestyle. Let's continue. In my opinion, I don't believe academia doesn't exist anymore. Everybody is trying to globe up grants and stay in job as long as they can. This is due to the structure of of academia. If you think of each lab as a small business, the income of these labs is majorly coming from grants. Academia operates very similar to nonprofit organization. Their source of income is mainly from donation. That's why they need to write these grant proposals to uh, ask for money from the foundations, they essentially donate money for science. Globing up for grants is the main job of a PI. There's nothing wrong with it. That's just how how the system works. So if you plan to work in scientific research, get prepared to spend most of your time writing grants. And if you're very good at securing fundings, then you will be a star in academia. Pay is shit. Well, it really depends on your position. Uh, if you are a full professor, then it's a decent salary. But I think only less than 1% of all academics can make it to that position. The rest suffer. This is one of the reality I wish I knew when I was younger. Only very few people can get a secured position in academia. Most researchers I know are literally just trying to survive. That is very true. The job position of a researcher is dependent on the funding the lab has. So if there's not enough grants to support a postdoc or a PhD, they have to go. This is something that people don't talk about that much until you become a postdoc. That's also why a lot of academics need to move to different countries to get a job because a lot of our expertise are very niche. Only a few places in the world would need that skill. Then you have to move. Unless academia becomes an essential part of state, I don't think we will solve current problem in the academia. I think it will never be solved because it's just how the structure of the industry is. Every job has something toxic. It really comes down to whether this is the type of toxicity that you can tolerate. Developing career is very similar to relationships. Every relationship has some toxicity. You need to have some toxicity in order to be entertained. If it's too perfect, people get bored, then they start cheating. Next question. Thank you so much for following my channel for a long time. I remember you, Sachin. But you want to know how to become a scientific illustrator in India. There's no university teaching scientific illustration in India. That means you can just start operating as a scientific illustrator without a certification. Sachin said, I have not seen someone around doing such jobs. Congratulations, that means you can be the first one in your region. Then there's less competition in your area. Just start doing it. I would advise you to start working as a graphic designer instead of only a scientific illustrator. It is easier to take in some cases to experience how it is like working as a illustrator and how much you'll get pay doing those work. I love these questions from you guys. Thank you for letting me know in the comments. If you have more, just leave them below. I will chat with you guys next Tuesday. And I'll do live stream on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. You can also come hang out with me there. Make sure you follow my social media. I will be posting the live stream schedules. I really enjoy doing this. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I will see you next Tuesday.